Dr. Vegapunk? The last scene? <laughs> Ohara still lives on- Oh my gosh! Everyone's already there? Oh, already like the party? Oh no, the conductors! Oh, there's like a party party! The pool party has expanded! I love these two so much, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're still on this? They would be a cute couple, I have to admit it. They're still on this pipe dream of this soap opera. Ay, ay, ay. Is that Soga King at the top? Oh my gosh, it is. My goodness, they're partying all night. Are we gonna resolve the entire thing about, you know, Usopp not even being in the crew? What? It's one cherry. What? He's, he's, he's the master chef. And I feel like there was not even magic involved. He can just do things like that. Sanji's so cracked, man. It's insane. What a wholesome scene. I always love like the celebration type scenes once they've kind of gone through the thick of things. It's nice. Oh, marine ship? Marine ships? Oh? Oh, shoot. So now to the new world. Oh, shoot. Shanks and Whitebeard, two of the emperors. Wait, so they sent a fleet out to the new world where the emperors kind of reside and they just rolled them immediately? They have a very strict rule, I guess, over the second half of the of the Grand Line. Iceberg, you got a lot of work to do if you want to make this island fly, bro. Where do you even start? Start digging in the ground? What that? Shanks? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, shoot, white beard! Uh, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! It's been like 160 episodes! And that's what the government wanted to prevent, was Shanks and Whitebeard having contact. So Shanks is just now getting to- Oh my god, Whitebeard's ship! It's just so large! Is it a whale? Oh my gosh. So Shanks left that one snow place they were at, and he was like, all right, let's go to Whitebeard. So I guess he's just now getting to him. Because he sent the letter originally, and then Whitebeard shredded it and said he can come see me himself. Oh. What? Hey, hey, uh. Uh, is that Shanks doing that? Black the Metal can't even stay conscious? What the what? Strong hockey? Is it just his presence? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. This for real. Enemy ship. Scar that guy gave me. Oh. Throwing his hockey ball? Is that what's behind them? Marco does not seem in, in, entertained. So they wait, but they're both emperors. So I guess all the emperors aren't cool with each other because they might have Whitebeard and Shanks might have fought. I I don't know why I figured the emperors were all chill. Oh shoot. Oh, that's a lot. That era. An apprentice on Roger's ship! No way. Buggy? Buggy encountered Whitebeard. With, with Shanks. <laughs> I hope Buggy's doing okay, man. Wait, he was a part of Roger's crew. The lines are starting to cross, man. It hurts my head. Shanks and Mihawk? What does a fight like that look like? But it was for Luffy. A sea king. Now that he says that, that is kind of crazy. How strong they've built Shanks up to be, and he just lost it to a, a random sea king he bet it on luffy what is that one from dog 
<laughs> what is happening? I think I've retained a lot of information. I'll have to go back. I, I really will. Okay, what is it from? Tell me. Oh. Ooh. Blackbeard gave him that scar? He's not a part of his crew anymore. Oh. Does he want to find Blackbeard? Gain power. He's trying to become a warlord. Oh, damn. Does he want to team up and try and take Blackbeard down? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, he's insanely strong from what we've seen. Is he worried that Blackbeard will hurt Ace? But why let him just like continue to like gather like a storm, bro? Also, he he killed one of Whitebeard's men. He's gonna hunt him down till he's dead. Yeah, he he does not want him to just hang out. Spit, Whitebeard! Spit, baby! As much as I think Blackbeard is really cool, he did mess up bad. <laughs> oh my gosh! Mans can drink! Oh! Oh my gosh! Wait, his blade! It's like a... Not a glaive, right? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I think I just held my breath the entire time. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's just gonna be about the straw hats because that's who it's pinned on. <laughs> <laughs> he is not not that that quick about it. Oh, Aokiji did. No. Yeah. He, he had a very strong grasp on the whole situation. Yeah, it's better that they just are able to just be here and not be hunted. Let's hear some. Some of the reviews. That you technically did. Let's go! A chopper mount. I mean, he did technically defeat a CP9 member. He's thinking about like his mugshot. Okay, dude. I like how excited Chopper is to have like a bounty if he can get one. Like, do you think I can get one? Do you think I can get one? He's building a ship! Yes, dude. The boys are back! I want to see what he's designed. Can I see the blueprints? Let's go! Aww. Thanks, Tilestone. They're all trying to, like, pay the straw hats back. My heart. Super! I like how the frog can't get his, like, his, like, flippers together, so he just keeps his arms out. Oh my gosh, he didn't even know. I, I just realized. What? That's not a hunter, Millie. Where's their hunted Millie? Oh my god! I'll call it whatever you want. Have they been robbed? She asks so nicely. What? What? Luffy, that much money? At a party? He's like, he was a great, he was a ranger, right? Broke through the most expensive party in the world with their money and Nami never even knew. My god. True, yeah, 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 true, 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 true. That's what I was gonna say, furnish the ship, yeah. They're gonna have to go to the flea markets, baby. It just has like curse symbols. <laughs> she just yelled like every expletive. Everybody's kind of just hanging out for a bit. Especially after the the absolute madness that, that that episode was, I have a lot of work to do on my wall, man. I'm gonna be honest. Let me uh like slowly kind of cut through it real quick. Okay, so I think the things that are most worth mentioning. He's walking on the ship, and he said he's got an incredibly strong hockey. So I'm guessing that's a term that they use to refer to Jora. I don't know, but Whitebeard. So the scar on Shanks is from Blackbeard, but Whitebeard said whenever I see your face, the scar. 
scar that guy gave me throbs. Whoever gave Whitebeard his scar is connected to Shanks. So either someone on Shanks' crew. And oh yeah, and then the, the term hockey is brought up again. He says, says the man who shows up throwing his hockey around. Roger Garp Sengoku. Though there aren't that many people left who know about that era. It's been 22 years. 22 years since what, man? What happened 22 years ago? I have to also try and think of how like it all ties into the blank century. But I think that's more just like past history that a lot of higher ups know about that most people don't. Like maybe even Whitebeard and Shanks don't know about the blank century. So Hawkeye and Shanks used to fight. That must be an absolute insane fight. Okay, so I think the biggest takeaway from this episode especially is how much of a threat Blackbeard is to them and how Shanks is kind of worried about him, but not to the point of like saying, hey, let's go take this guy out for whatever reason. But he wants to keep Ace away from Blackbeard because it either endangers Ace or he or he thinks like, yeah, like he thinks Ace isn't ready to fight him or Blackbeard isn't in the position to be taken down right now. I have no idea, but I feel like Shanks sees Blackbeard as like this in-game sort of final boss when uh, this entire time I've seen the whole in-game final boss as the five elder stars and Sengoku, which maybe they're sort of in their own departments. But another big takeaway from the episode as well is that the, the four emperors, whenever they were first presented, I was like, oh, they're sort of like a council that worked together on, on the second half of the grand line. When in reality, they're just four really powerful people in the second half of the grand line that all operate separately. And that's very indicative of when Shanks boarded Whitebeard's ship and originally people thought they were going to fight. Like they're, they, he straight up said an enemy ship. So I, I don't know, man, a lot of information, a ton of stuff dropped in these last couple episodes. I've been enjoying the hell out of it. Let me know down below if I missed anything super substantial that isn't like super spoilery or anything. I typically only read like the top comments on videos because typically people won't like uh, spoiler comments. But yeah, if there's any big takeaways that I missed or anything you think that I was cool that I sort of caught, let me know. But I think I absorbed a, a decent amount of it. But that has been it for episodes 315 and 316 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop us up on the channel if you are new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.